I am your host, Michael Yerby. It's another lovely day in Shreveport, Louisiana. We are five hours away from Dallas, three hours away from New Orleans, and I'm just one minute from getting in your butt if you haven't gotten up to start your day. Welcome to the Breakfast Boost. Hello, hello. Welcome back, Boosters. This is your Breakfast Boost buddy, Michael Yerby, here to kickstart your day with a smile and some wisdom. You're tuned in to the Breakfast Boost, where we blend motivation with a pinch of humor to blend the perfect start to your day. Now, before we jump into today's juicy topic, here's a little dad joke to get things rolling. Why don't scientists trust atoms anymore? Because they make up everything. Just like our topic today, resiliency, it's all about putting those pieces together when things fall apart. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas as you spend time with your families or if you're just enjoying a day off from the holiday season. During this time, there can be much self-reflection due to outcomes not panning out. In this episode titled Build the Resilience, How to Bounce Back from Adversity, we'll unwrap the art of resilience. It's not just about being the tough cookie folks. It's about how we learn, grow, and turn those lemons into the best lemonade you ever tasted. So whether you're sipping morning coffee or you're catching up during your commute, get ready to dive deep with me. We explore why bouncing back is more about recharging your batteries than just enduring the storm. Stay tuned with me as we unfold stories of incredible people, share top tips from experts, and even guide you through a little reflection exercise. It's all about building those bounce back muscles. And hey, don't forget to share your thoughts and stories with us on social media. We're all on the top platforms and we'd love to hear from our boosters. So are you ready? Let's boost into resiliency together. Good morning, boosters. Mike Weirby here, back with your dose of wake up wisdom. Grab your coffee or tea and let's get those brain gears turning. Today, we're unwrapping the gem of a quote by Adam Grant. Resilience is not about how you endure. It's about how you recharge. Now, doesn't that make you think? It's like saying not just about surviving the storm, but also dancing in the rain, right? Let's break it down. Often we think being resilient means pushing through or toughing it out. But here's the twist. It's also about how we take a step back, catch our breath, and get our energy back. That's the recharging bit. It's like your phone. And you cannot use it all day without plugging it in sometime, can you? So what does recharging look like? It's different for everyone. Maybe it's a walk in the park, a chat with a friend, or just some quiet time with your favorite book. The key is to find what refuse your spirit and gives you that strength to bounce back. In today's world, with all the hustle and bustle, take time to recharge. It isn't a luxury, folks. It's a necessity. It helps us when we go through challenges, but grow through them. It's all about learning from what life throws at us and coming out stronger on the other side. So think about it. When was the last time you recharged? What helped you refuel your resilience tank? Please share your go-to recharge method on social media and don't forget to tag us. We love to see how our boosters stay energized. All right, that's our wake up wisdom for today. Keep those thoughts in your mind as we explore more about resilience in this episode. Remember, it's not just about enduring. It's about finding ways to come back stronger. Stay tuned for some incredible insights on building resilience. It's going to be a great, great show. Welcome back, Boosters. This is Michael Yerby diving into the heart of today's episode, Building Resilience. In the next few minutes, we're going to go and unravel what resilience really means. Here's some inspiring stories and most importantly, talk about how you can build resistant muscles. So let's get started. First off, what is resilience? Think of it as a rubber band. When life stretches you out, resilience snaps you back into shape. It's not just about being strong, it's about being flexible, learning from tough times, and using those lessons to grow. Now let's talk about resilience in action. Have you ever heard of J.K. Rowling? 
Before she became famous for writing Harry Potter, she faced many struggles. She was a single mom living on welfare, and her book got rejected by 12 publishers before it finally got accepted. But she didn't give up. That's resilience for you. Turning no's into not yet and keeping at it. But it's not just famous people who show resilience. It's in everyday folks, too. Like that friend who lost their job but used the time to learn a new skill and land an even better one. Or that neighbor who overcame a serious illness and now runs marathons. I was told by my mom that everyone has a story and faces unmeasurable hardships. But resilience is all around us. And that is indicative to my life. So how do you build resilience? First, embrace challenges. Think of them as a gem for your mind. Every tough situation is a chance to get stronger. Second, keep a positive outlook. It's like putting on sunshine colored glasses. It doesn't change the view, but it sure makes it look a little brighter. And third, sharpen those problem solving skills. Think of challenges like puzzles. The more you practice, the more you understand the patterns and the better you get at solving them. We also have some quick tips from experts. They say things like, take care of your health, build strong relationships, and don't be afraid to ask for help. It is simple, but super powerful. Before we wrap up this segment, let's do a quick exercise. Think about a recent challenge you face. Now ask yourself, what did I learn from it? How did it help me grow? Take a minute to reflect on this, and if you feel like sharing, Hit us up on Discord or WhatsApp. We'd love to hear your resilient stories. And that's a wrap on the core content for today, Boosters. Remember, building resilience is like building a muscle. It takes time and effort, but it also is so worth it. Stay tuned for more empowering content. And don't forget to share your thoughts and stories with us. Keep bouncing back stronger each time. Hey there, Boosters. It's Michael Yerby with your daily boost of the day. We've been chatting about resilience. Now it's time to turn those words into action. This is where we get practical and personal. Let's dive in. Today, I want you to join me in a resilient reflection exercise. It's simple but powerful. Here's what we're going to do. Take a moment to think about a recent challenge you face. Maybe it was a tough day at work, a disagreement with a friend, or a personal setback. Got it in your mind? Great. Now, let's ask ourselves three questions. The first, what was the challenge? Describe it to yourself. Just the facts, no opinions or congestion. Second, how did you handle it? Think about what you did, what you felt, how you reacted. And third, this is the big one. What did you learn from it? Did it teach you something about yourself, about others, or life in general? This isn't just about looking back. It's about finding the silver lining. Every challenge has something to teach us, something that makes us wiser, stronger, and even more resilient. And when we take the time to reflect like this, we're not just about going through life, we're growing through life. I encourage you to make this a regular practice. Maybe once a week, sit down with a cup of your favorite drink and do this exercise. It's like a workout for your resilience muscle. And hey, if you're comfortable, Share your reflections with our communities on Discord and WhatsApp. Post it on social media. Use the hashtag Breakfast Boost. And let's start a conversation about running through challenges. I'll be reading your stories. And who knows, your experience might be the boost someone else needs to hear today. Remember, resilience is not about bouncing back. It's about bouncing forward. So let's keep moving, keep learning, and keep growing together. And that's our boost of the day. Stay tuned for our wrap up and a sneak peek into next week's exciting topic. You don't want to miss it. All right, boosters, as we wrap up today's episode, let's take a quick moment to reflect on what we covered. We dove into the heart of resilience. Understanding that it's not just about enduring tough times, but it's about learning and growing from them. It's about the incredible ability to recharge and bounce back, maybe even stronger than before. 
We heard about the folks like J.K. Rowland who faced rejection after rejection, but kept on writing, reminding us that sometimes resilience is about holding on to your dreams, even when the road gets bumpy. And then we got practical with our resilience reflection exercise. Remember, it's about looking at our challenges, not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones, becoming stronger and wiser. As we close today, I want to leave you with this thought. Resilience is like a muscle, and every challenge you face is an opportunity to strengthen it. So next time life throws a curveball your way, take a deep breath, remember what you learned today, and know that you have the strength to overcome. And hey, don't forget to tune in next week for an exciting episode on A Year in Review, celebrating wins and setting new goals. It's a game changer, and I promise you, you don't want to miss it. Finally, a big thank you to you for joining me on your Christmas morning. If today's episode inspired you, please share with others. Let's spread the word and grow our community of boosters. Follow us on Discord or WhatsApp for daily motivation and be part of our vibrant online family. All right, Boosters, that wraps up today's resilience journey. I am Michael Yerby. It's been a blast having you with us on our first Christmas episode edition. Remember, resilience is like a muscle. The more we work it, the stronger it gets. So keep practicing what we talked about today. If this episode gave you a little boost, why not share the love? Pass it to your friends, family, and anyone that might need a little boost hit that share button and let's spread some positive vibes. Don't forget to subscribe to our Spotify, YouTube, and Apple channels and any other place where you listen to podcasts. For more empowering episodes, we got a lot of amazing content lined up for you. And one last thing, follow us on Discord or WhatsApp for your daily dose of motivation. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn ready to keep the conversation going and to hear all about your resilient stories. Until next time, keep smiling, keep shining, and keep boosting. This is Michael Yerby signing off the Breakfast Boost. Have a Merry Christmas. Catch you on our next episode. Bye.